What if I told you that you could automate fully the process of sending your DocuSign envelopes and pre-filling them with this data that you've got stored somewhere, maybe in, in a CRM or any other database? If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian and I'm the founder of Solusan Consulting, a digital transformation agency where we help financial services businesses grow by automating paperwork. And if you want to learn more about how we do this, you can check out the links in the description of this video to enroll in the free DocuSign automation webinar. But in today's video, you will learn how you can generate and send envelopes to your recipients that are gonna be pre-filled with the information that you already have. So neither of you, the signer or yourself, will have to manually enter that data again. So if you send the same types of documents again and again, and are having to manually pre-fill each envelope um, every time, then this tutorial could be a lifesaver. And by the way, I hope that you're already using templates and know what templates are. If you don't, just go back and watch the other videos before, because otherwise this one's gonna be a bit confusing. And if you'd like to talk to a DocuSign consultant specializing in helping investment funds, advisors, and lending firms automate complex document workflows, then book a call with me today using the link in the description of the video. But for now, let's go back to the video. So in today's example, I'm the partnership manager for Company X, and my role is to recruit new partners that will distribute our product. And so I want to automate my current process, which consists of reviewing all the responses that I collect using this Google form that end up in this uh, spreadsheet right here. Once I review the data collected from the form, I decide whether or not I want to send an agreement to uh, my future partners using DocuSign. So I need to go to DocuSign, I use the template, and then I pre-fill the envelope with the information contained in the spreadsheet but this happens manually so i go ahead and click on edit then i need to enter the name and email of the person i'm sending it to and then i need to pre-fill the fields so basically the fields that i want to pre-fill or uh, the name of the uh, partner uh, company here and i also add it um, and i also add their address here and then i also add their company name uh, down the bottom in the signature part. So this is what I want to automate. And what I mean by automating is I want to be able to send those agreements without having to log into DocuSign from my Google Sheets. So for this tutorial, I'm going to leverage the uh, app uh, called Zapier. So Zapier, if you're not familiar with it, allows you to integrate um, two apps together. So in this example, we are going to integrate DocuSign with Google Sheets. If you want to see more tutorials to help you automate DocuSign workflows, I've released other videos showing you how to uh, save and archive complete documents from your DocuSign account into a cloud folder as soon as the envelopes are completed. And you can uh, find the links of those videos in the description down below. So the very first step is to ensure that our template is ready. So um, to do that, we are gonna go into the templates tab and then we are going to open the template that we want to use to generate our envelopes so that's the template it's a partnership agreement and i'm going to go to the tab where we can uh, customize the fields so the fields are already there and what i want to do is i want to make sure that all my fields have a meaningful label because i will need to map those fields with the sales of my google sheets so it's already done, all my fields already have meaningful name, but you wanna make sure that this is the case for you as well. Um, otherwise you won't be able to know what field you're mapping, mapping to what cell in your Google Sheets. So because I know that my fields are all labeled, I can just go ahead and save my template. And then we're gonna to go to the um, Google Sheet. From here, and by the way, this step is optional, but I highly recommend it, um, is to create another worksheet within that same spreadsheet. Because if you use the same worksheet as the one where the data automatically uh, goes, then if you ever make an edit to the layout of this particular uh, um, worksheet, then the integration might break. So I've already gone ahead and created another worksheet and gave um, a meaningful name to each of the columns. And so each name relates to a field in my uh, DocuSign template. 
So what I need to do here is to create an automatic relationship between the sales of this worksheet with the sales of the other worksheet. So I'm going to grab the business name, which is here. And then I'm just going to copy this relationship and do the same for all the other fields. You can see that I've also created a filter column that I called uh, send via DocuSign. And the reason I add a filter column is that I want to manually review the application of each potential partner first before the partnership agreements go, um, go out. So if I don't add a filter, then Zapier will ask DocuSign to send an envelope every time any data lands into my spreadsheet, which is not what I want. I want to first assess the responses and then make the decision whether or not I want to send an envelope. So this uh, column allows me to do just that. My spreadsheet is ready, my template in DocuSign is ready. I can go to my Zapier account. I create a new Zap and I will call send partnership agreements from Google Sheets. The trigger event is Google Sheets. And then I will select new spreadsheet row, continue and connect my Google Sheets account. In the spreadsheet field, I will select my partnership application spreadsheet and the worksheet is the uh, send via DocuSign. Then I'll click on continue and this is where uh, Zapier will look for information in that uh, worksheet. And so it's found a couple of rows. We've got rows A, B and C and I'm going to use the row C because in this row I have my email address and I actually want to send show you what the envelope is going to look like um, when it gets sent. So I'm going to click on continue. Now, um, the next step is normally to set up the action. But before we do that, we're going to create a filter. Because remember, I only want the zaps to, the zaps to get triggered if um, my column send via DocuSign contains something that's going to tell Zapier, yep, yeah, that's fine, you can go ahead and send that envelope. So I'm going to choose the column send via DocuSign. And the condition is that the uh, the text contained in that cell should exactly match the word yes. I'm going to click on continue. And Zapier is just telling me that the zap would not have continued because in the data that it's picked up, the word yes isn't present. Now I can select my action. And so I'll select DocuSign and uh, create a signature request. Select the DocuSign account. After you select the template, Zapier will pull up all the fields available in the template. And so we can customize the email subject and email message, but I'm not going to bother with this for this tutorial. The first thing that I want to do is to map the recipient's email name and placeholder of my template uh, with the information contained in my um, spreadsheet. So if I click in this field, then I need to tell Zapier where to find the email of the person and to send the envelope to. So I will select the uh, contact uh, email. For the name, I will select the contact name. For the recipient role, this is the new partners, new partner. And for the partner name, that's going to be the business name. And for the partner address, it's the business address. Then I click on continue. And this is the step where Zapier wants to test um, that um, the automation works. So if I click on test and continue, we should see a new email popping up in my inbox. So I've only got one email for now that's unread. This should turn into a two very soon. And that's it. So here is the notification. I'll click on review document. And we should see our partnership agreement with all the data from our Google Sheet. And so you can see that business XYZ has been populated in the document. So it's a field, but it can't be edited. And that's because of the properties of the field in my template. It's set to read only. However, you can see that the address, because um, sometimes people get the address wrong when they fill out the application form, I've just let that as a field that can be edited. 
and that's it. We've just sent an envelope from Google Sheet without having to log into DocuSign and more importantly, without asking our signers to enter the information we've already got. And so in this tutorial, I shared with you something very simple, but you can set up workflows that are much more advanced to save you even more time and to automate even more tasks. But I will show you how to do the same thing with other CRMs like Salesforce, Pipedrive, Zoho in the next lesson. And if you'd like more help setting up your DocuSign account, maybe optimizing the way you're using your template or just getting more out of the tool and automating more of your sales processes, check out my DocuSign implementation program. You will also be able to book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me where we can take a deep dive into your account, we can build templates and we can dive into your workflow and determine what is the best way to set things up to save your team even more time moving forward. And of course, you'll also get access to my uh, online uh, tutorials, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and advanced topics compared to my YouTube videos. And so if you really want your team to master DocuSign quickly, you can book a strategy call in the description down below. I will talk to you then. Ciao.